really don't like the really long names. It makes life slightly more difficult than it needs to be, and it's already freaking difficult. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Happy 15-ish minute Friday. Today's video is all about my top five current favorite mini palettes. I'm talking about palettes that you can just hold in your hand, easy to handle, easy to travel with. I really prefer a smaller palette than I do these big, like gigantic palettes I can barely hold on to. I have arthritis, I'm shaky. There's a lot of things that uh, we don't need larger palettes to draw. Like I just need to grip a small palette. So these five eyeshadow palettes really pack up punch of pigmentation, blendability. They are wonderful and some of them are new. The very first eyeshadow palette that I want to talk about is a mini palette. I have a mini problem with buying Natasha Denona mini eyeshadow palettes. For one, they are affordable. They're $25 instead of $125 or how much ever her big palettes are. You get a lot of use out of these mini palettes. So the first one, is the mini glam. I do have the full size uh, glam palette, which I love. I got during a sale. I don't regret it. The mini palette really is one that I reach for a lot. Now her shimmer shades tend to do this. I'm trying to hold on to this as long as possible, but the mini palette is what I have on today. I have a couple other like, um, eyeshadow sticks on, but this is the majority of what I have on for my eyes and I love it. It has such neat, um, undertones. I feel like Natasha Denona does a really great job with unique undertones for her eyeshadows. So the mini glam, if you're looking for a neutral leaning towards olive -y type cool tones, you'll really like this eyeshadow palette. Next is an eyeshadow palette that I actually like all of them, but I'm going to feature a newer one because I've been using it nonstop. It is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. All of these, they're so easy to hold on to, which for me, that's really important. And the mirror bends back far enough so you can get up really close and do detailed work. Now, this is the eyeshadow palette in Rodin. It was recently released with the Masterpiece Collection, which I love. I love both the eyeshadow palettes, but I wanted to feature Rodin just because I don't think I'm the only one. Look at my, I have like swatched toilet paper down there. Don't look in this mirror. I feel like the internet loves this eyeshadow palette and so do I. I really feel like it is like the mini glam palette's warmer sister, but it's still like neutral, you know? Anyway, the Divine Skies eyeshadow palettes are super uh, blendable, have a lot of pigmentation, are just absolutely gorgeous, and the formula is just there, you know? It's just a good, good formula. And I just feel like M Cosmetics nails everything that they make and they pay attention to every single detail and this is no exception. Before moving on to the next section of this video, I wanna say a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. I am so excited to have them sponsor today's video. They are an online community of thousands of people that are wanting to learn a new skill and get creative. So if you are interested in learning a new skill, amping up your existing career or starting a new career and being a little uh, entrepreneurial, okay, if you will, then you will love Skillshare. So the first thousand people that sign up through my link, which I will have in the info below, will get a one month free trial on Skillshare. You can discover classes that interest you, whether you just wanna learn a new craft or all the way up to a new career. They have incredible classes on there and I think that you guys will love them as much as I have been loving them. I started this YouTube thing all on my own as a hobby and it has turned into a full-time career. It, a lot of this, most of this, I would say 90% of this is definitely self-taught. I didn't have any direction. There was no Skillshare when I started. So I was really excited to start taking classes myself to learn more about branding and editing and how to take proper photos. And right now I am taking a class from Claire Wasserman and Justin Genak. They are the founders of Working Not Working, and they teach a class on going freelance and building your own brand. So if you are just looking for an outlet to get creative, Skillshare is definitely for you. Or if you are making a complete career shift, they have wonderful 
classes for you as well to help you feel a little more grounded and safe to take those next steps. So much value in it. I am learning so much uh, as someone who has an existing business. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. This next eyeshadow palette is one that I got over the holidays and it is one that I have traveled with and I'm really enjoying it. First, I didn't like it. And then I was like, no, I love this. <laughs> Uh, it is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Okay, I love Charlotte Tilbury products. This is not, not a secret, but I really don't like the really long names. It makes life slightly more difficult than it needs to be, and it's already freaking difficult. Anyway, the uh, Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette, I really love this. It reminds me of like a grown-up version of Urban Decay's um, uh, naked heat petite or like those petite uh, eyeshadow palettes but the formula is so nice and buttery and smooth and once these eyeshadows sit for a second on your eyelids they really become skin like and i have my hands like this i just realized because it's freezing and i cannot have my window unit on <laughs> because it's so loud but it is so iced over outside and it is freezing in my studio you know half gloves but this eyeshadow palette, if you're looking for something leaning towards warm, but it's an everyday, you have your base shadow, you could go cooler toned, warmer toned, you can do a lot with this tiny little palette. And it's perfect, like just like the M Cosmetics one, like it bends back far enough where you can get really close and do your work. I love that, I love small eyeshadow palettes. I just, give me a few good shades and a smaller compact or packaging and I'm good. Next is another newer eyeshadow palette. It is the Huda Beauty Wild Tiger Palette. Now, this one is super fun for this spring and summer. You know, the, you got the bold pops of color, but you could smoke it out, make it, you know, just different, or honestly, for every day, these right here, like this brown, this shade, and this shade, you've got like a nice neutral look, or you can, turn up the heat with this little orange or this yellow for the inner corner, like a pop of color. These Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, the mini ones are incredible. If you have not grabbed one on your way to check out at Sephora, girl, do yourself a favor, give yourself a little gift, give yourself a mini gift because look how far back this mirror goes. You can get really close. I think that that's super important. The Huda Beauty mini eyeshadow palettes, especially the wild line right now is just like, killing it for me. I love all of them. The tiger though, I'm partial to oranges and yellows, especially in the spring and summer. This is wonderful. Okay, next eyeshadow palette is one that I, I kind of forgot that I loved this eyeshadow formula. It's been so long since I purchased a Dior eyeshadow palette. Not all of these pack a mini price, but they are mini in size and really deliver. This is the Dior 469 eyeshadow palette. I recently got this over the holidays. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I feel like Dior's eyeshadows feel more like a gel to powder. It's like, I can't, it's hard for me to describe, but they feel so silky, almost like a, not a cream, like more of a lightweight gel to powder is how I personally, Okay, not that I've heard anybody else say that it's not legit. It's just how I feel about them. And they blend out so pretty. Classic, you know? But uh, Dior makes wonderful eyeshadows. I completely forgot. I kind of got away from the really high-end makeup there for a while just because it's, it felt lazy. Like a lot of high, high-end makeup brands were just kind of releasing whatever. I don't know to keep up with maybe like the more affordable makeup launch, brands that launch products like every freaking month, which they do need to like change their game, but they need to stick with quality, you know? And there was just, I fell off and that's why. So those are my top five mini eyeshadow palettes right now that I am loving and that I am using and are on rotation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.